All right, hello, my name is Porter Stowe and I am the head of community for the Filecoin Foundation. And I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what is going on in Filecoin right now. What is the state of the community? And to start, to start off the talk, I want to give a quote from a fav famous Filecoin investor, Mark Yusko. And he says, the greatest wealth is created by being an early investor in innovation. Making that investment requires believing in something before the majority of people understand it. You will be mocked and ridiculed for your non-consensus action. It is absolutely worth it. I want to start with a, talk, a quote from Mark because that's a lot of what's going on within Filecoin. So much of like Web2 is dominated by the public cloud scene of like Azure, AWS, and GCP. But there's this whole new way to do cl cloud storage that doesn't require you to do, use a centralized entity such as a, a major hyperscaler or a public cloud provider. And when you look at Filecoin, Filecoin is complex, it's different, it's decentralized, uh, and it is noted to be the most technically ambitious thing in all of crypto, full stop. I don't think second place is particularly close. It's a very underappreciated by everyone in the world, including myself. This is Kyle Samani, Managing Director and Co-Founder of Multicoin Capital. Anyone in Web3 should hopefully have heard of Multicoin Capital. Uh, and it's something, if you're trying to raise, most uh, opportunities find their way to Multicoin at some point. And Filecoin is trying to do something big, transformational, game-changing. And it's really technical, complex, difficult. But, you know, this is what the community is committed to solving to kind of break up the monopoly that is public cloud. And when you look at like taking on this behemoth, where are we? Where is Filecoin in this evolution? And you know, we're making progress. I like to think if you look at the adoption lifecycle curve, we're, we're pretty, we're about right here in Filecoin. We've gone through our early adoption phase. We have people who are building real businesses and are kind of, doing all the aspects that are gonna allow us to enter into the mainstream adoption. I look at, you know, in the rest of the Web3 space, I think Bitcoin is right here. It has officially crossed the chasm. And we see that on a daily basis with the Bitcoin adoption, price appreciation, institutional capital coming in. It has crossed the chasm and now is going mainstream. And this is what every Web3 project aspires to get to. So it's a question of, how does Filecoin go from our early wins and early adoption through this visionary stage so we can propel ourselves across the proverbial chasm into mainstream? And then if you really take a step back and look at everything that's going on across our ecosystem, you're going to see that we have a lot in place to get us across this, this on this trajectory, trajectory across the chasm. So how do you do it? You need businesses that are producing cash flows. Web3 hasn't changed business fundamentals. You need customers, you need paying customers, you need cash flows, you need a strong balance sheet. It's business 101, that's still what is required. Uh, and I think if you look across the rest of the Web3 landscape, look at everyone here today at East Denver, you're gonna find that a lot of these projects aren't based on cash flows. You know, this is something that Facebook had to go through, Google had to go through. Eventually, you need a point where people are paying you money for your services. And so this is where Filecoin is today. We're, we have software vendors that are building all these tools that make working with the protocol easier, more accessible to a variety of different personas, from the developer persona to the web two persona, to the, to the way to, to, the, to the layer one. Uh, all these software vendors are catering to the the different audiences out there, making it easy for them to get onto the network. We have an army of sellers that is being masked uh, from system integrators such as Ernst & Young to Telaris to other people who want to be out there selling decentralized storage, focusing on Filecoin. And then we have this whole AI contingency that we are a strong complement for, whether it's compute networks and GPUs, to uh, needing data provenance or data integrity solutions that support LLMs. 
Filecoin is in a great position to support all the advancements going on in AI. And you see this continually uh, incubated across our ecosystem. And all this results in a place where our ecosystem has gone through the maturity model further and faster than a lot of other Web3 projects. This is the benefit of having been around for three plus years as a network. We have bi committed business models. We have washed out the pretenders. We have people who have been tested throughout the bear market. And now they have solidified their base, working on cash flows, in a way that Filecoin enables them to drive top line revenue growth and reduce costs, provide value differentiated services, and that's what is going to help propel us across the chasm. So I challenge you to look around this expo hall today and to see how many people have the level of maturity, customer base, value proposition, and cash flows that the people within Filecoin have experienced. Filecoin even has a more challenging proposition because it's so hardware based. Data storage requires racks of data, data storage, servers, data centers. This is very you know, hardware focused at its core. All these other L1s, they, they don't have that hardware requirement. And you could argue that that is a blessing and a curse, but for Filecoin it is our biggest differentiator and you know, gives us the value that we have real machines real compute, real storage associated with our network that all these other projects can't boast as an asset. So what are some of the examples of the businesses being built today? dstore.com. dstore.com is digitally finding leads of organizations that want to store in a decentralized manner and are routing those leads into our ecosystem. These are fiat paying customers uh, that are finding their way through dstore.com, putting their data on the network. We have Steel Dome, which is a web 2.5 play that is working with all the enterprises out there, making it easy for them to allocate archival storage to the network while providing the comfort of still maintaining their AWS, Azure, or whatever, you know, it's a platform agnostic play where they can keep to the environments that they're used to while beginning to slowly transition into Filecoin at the rate and pace that they see fit. I kind of see, see Steel Dome as like when you start a new job and you sign up for a 401k, they kind of default you into 10% uh, of your salary goes into your 401k. Steel Dome is doing the same for storage. It's like, well, we're just gonna default you into Filecoin because that's the best value. You can choose other things, but the default is always Filecoin. We have Ghost Drive that is doing an AI platform that is built natively on top of Filecoin. So you think of all your content that you're creating. How can you create your own AI based on your own data uh, from an organizational level to an individual level? It's built on IPFS, archives to Filecoin, and then it gives you your own personal generative AI platform, all natively based on top of Filecoin. And then there's Lighthouse, which is offering perpetual storage for users, developers, organizations, anyone and anyone who wants to sit, store their data on the network. Lighthouse is the easy button for you to just drag and drop and be done with it. How does the file? The Filecoin Foundation is a key part to supporting the Filecoin ecosystem. And what we do first and foremost, more than anything, is to make sure you're not alone in this ecosystem. So many of us in Web3 are working at home working across the globe, and it's very easy to feel disconnected. The foundation is here to always be riding shotgun with you along the way, so you don't feel alone in that journey. We provide testing, coaching, design, solutioning. We provide connections to the rest of the ecosystem. We're enabling and amplifying the work you're doing for the community. We're trying to bolster and boost everyone and anyone in this ecosystem so that the value that they're creating is recognized by the entire community and from the community that hasn't tapped into Filecoin at large. And most importantly, we help you with conviction. Working and developing and building in Web3 is hard. It can be exhausting, confusing, and laced with uncertainty. We, by connecting you and promoting you, hopefully you will find the conviction that the rest of our community has had and that you are bolstered 
by the work and development from everyone else building in the Filecoin network. If you're curious, uh, the first step is always be connected. We're on X, we're on Slack, we have docs. Don't be a stranger, reach out, ask questions, engage. What you're going to find is that the Filecoin community is littered with experts from distinguished engineers to people from Web2 and experts across Web3. We have some of the most technically savvy community members in the planet. And if you reach out and say hello, introduce yourself, talk about what you're building or the problems you have, you're gonna find a community that is extremely supportive and collaborative along your way. And it's the community that makes Filecoin so addictive. And we hope you figure that out for yourself. That's it. Thank you.